What's up, guys? I'm Hub Smash, and we're going to talk today about recording Overwatch VODs. There are many ways to record Overwatch VODs or other gaming content in general, but we'll be focusing on the free and accessible solution, which is OBS. As a side note, I'll be fo focusing specifically on NVIDIA cards or Intel QuickSync, but I'll give an option for AMD, and uh, the setup will be similar, but unfortunately, I can't really show it. Uh, OBS can look confusing when you first start it up. There are a lot of options and doodads to play with, but luckily for us, our purpose is pretty straightforward, and we can set it up pretty simply. We've got a few goals when we're recording these VODs. We want to have good quality video, and we want the recording to impact game performance as little as possible. This is why this guide is specific to the hardware that people have. And if you're running an AMD graphics card, you'll want to look at either plays.tv or the OBS branch that has the AMD VCE support. Um, I'll put links in the description, but I also wanted to say that I've never used an AMD card for this purpose, so I can't comment much on it. But the setup in OBS should be fairly similar. And, uh, I, but you'll have to try it out. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, you're going to be looking to encode with AMD VCE. Let's, so let's talk about hardware encoding really quickly as well. Very quickly summarized, we want to use parts of the GPU or the CPU that are otherwise sitting idle. So most new GPUs and some CPUs come with a hardware encoder built right into them. And the encoder is used for encoding video only. It's not active during gameplay unless you're recording. This means that the performance impact on the game will be very minimal while recording. Because OBS isn't competing for that processing time with your gameplay or computer. Uh, in a big way like it does with software encoding. It should be noted though that generally speaking, hardware encoding is worse quality than software encoding. But for our purposes and almost every... Uh, non or even semi-professional use, it should absolutely suffice. Uh, for example, every single video I've ever made uh, on YouTube has been recorded with hardware encoding. So the first thing you want to do is download and install OBS, which I'm not going to go over. It's OBS Studio. I'll put a link in the description to that. And then when we get OBS installed and open, um, we're going to take a look at everything. Uh, I'm just going to stick to the basics here. There's going to be a bunch of stuff that we don't really cover. Uh, it's just to get you settled and, you know, recording your gameplay. So I have a lot of scenes here and sources, right? And a scene is basically a collection of sources. It's whatever the scene is like, um, a collection of things you want to display, uh, or record. So for my gaming with cam, I have my C920, which is my webcam. I could turn that on and off. Uh, and then I have my game capture, right? So now I'm recording overwatch. I have overwatch running in the background. If you didn't already realize, so the way you do this is you basically set up your scene. You'll hit the plus sign. You'll call it gaming or whatever. You'll set up a source. You'll call it and you'll choose uh, game capture. Once you choose game capture, you want to go into the settings of it and you want to have it capture a specific window and select overwatch. At least that's how I like to do it. You can try using capture any full screen, but I've found that to work, you know, not, not amazing. Um, you want to check here just to make sure that your desktop audio is set up. Um, and you can mute these things like, so my mic's on here and if I want to mute it, I can just click that and it will mute the mic. I hope it didn't mute it in the recording there, but anyways, uh, then you want to go into the settings here and what you want to do is you can basically just leave this general tab on the default. Uh, you don't want to stream, so you're not worried about that at this point in time. You, if you want to stream, I'm sure there's lots of videos that can help you with that. What you want to be looking at is the output and you want to look at the recording tab. And what you want to do here is you want to use, you want, this is the most important thing is the encoder here. Before you change anything else, change this. You want to change the encoder to uh, NV, NVIDIA NV Inc. Um, and basically that's how you want to do that. You want to, or you want to use QuickSync. These two encoders are hardware encoders. Um, and Basically, that's what I was talking about earlier. That'll make your recording better. X264 is a software encoder and it will use a lot of CPU. It'll make the recording look really good, but it's not gonna um, it's not gonna help at us. It's not gonna help us at all as far as performance goes. We want it to perform well. Um, and then you want to make sure that the output's not rescaled. Uh, profile main is fine. You want the this should be defaulted to two. You want to just leave that. Uh, you want the rate control. You want it at a constant bit rate if possible. Um, and then you want to set the bit rate. I use 75,000, but I want to note that that's a pretty big and probably overkill number. You could, uh, I would set as a very minimum, I would put this at maybe seven or 8,000. Uh, but the lower this goes, this is what makes the content look kind of 
garbled. Like it'll have little squares in it uh, because it's compressed and stuff like that. It's it's not going to look very good. So I, I use 75,000. It makes big files, but that's okay with me. I've got an, enough storage to handle that. So it really depends on what you're using. And you also want to change the recording path. Uh, you want this to be on a separate hard drive if possible, then the game runs on. So I have two drives. I have my solid state drive that I run my OS and games from. And then I have a, uh, a drive that's basically for footage. Uh, it's my S drive and it just um, records there. Uh, then you want to check the audio tracks. Um, depending on what you're recording, you may want to change this. So if you want to do multi-track audio, which basically means when you go to edit it, you can change different tracks separately, then you want to play with this. Otherwise, you're just going to probably want the first track and that'll just be your game audio. Um, and it can be combined with your mic audio as well. In audio here, you want to make sure that these settings are correct. So it's set, it's set up your desktop audio device and your mic if you're going to use that. The sample writes the same as the devices that you're using. Um, and you can check those in the Windows properties if you need to. In the video tab, you want to keep this at 1920 by 1080 or whatever resolution you're playing in. Um, I recommend using the Lanx, Lankos, Lanxos. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. I recommend using that and 60 FPS if you can. But if you are having some performance issues, try, try dropping it down to 30 and see if that works better for you. Then what you want to do is look at the uh, the hockeys. So for me, it's start and stop recordings F12. So it's very simple. I'm in a game. I have this ready. I have this going and it's running on the background. I've set up all my scenes. I'm ready to go. Uh, and then the round starts and I hit F12 and it's pretty straightforward. Um, you shouldn't have to change anything in the advanced tab. And that's it. That's literally it. Now, all you want to do is make sure that all those settings are set up right and that you have your desktop audio here and that is capturing the game and you can see movement. And then you're basically ready to go. You click start recording and you're off to the races. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider clicking that like button. It really helps with the channel. And if you want to see some more Overwatch stuff, consider subscribing. Thanks again, guys, and take care.